I think anyone who's trying to make YouTube as a creative career has their own story of how they hit their first 1,000 subscribers. For me, it was a struggle. It took me two years, and I want to share to you the mistakes and adjustments I made so that you won't have to commit the same mistakes that I did. Hi, my name is Jack. In today's video, let's talk about how to reach your first 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. To give you a quick background about my channel, let me share to you how many videos I made per year and how many subscribers I gained that year. So dito, back in 2016, I made 8 videos and I didn't gain any subscriber. Uh, on 2017, I made 3 videos, I gained 7 subscribers. Uh, 2018, I made 32 videos and I only gained um, 23 subscribers. And in 2008, uh, 2019, uh, I made 70 videos and I made uh, 350 subscribers. And uh, in 2020, the first uh, 6 months of 2020, I only made 39 videos and I gained uh, 1,000 subscribers. So I'll just be sharing my experience and yung mga things na binago ko para tumas yung traction mga videos ko and para mas maging favorable ako sa YouTube algorithm. Them. Okay, I'll be splitting this video into two parts. It's technical and non-technical. So for technical, ito yung mga visually nakikita mo agad yung babaguhin mo. While yung non-technical, ito yung values behind making YouTube videos. Okay, let's start muna with technical. So I have a list ng mga ano, tips ko dito. So una muna dito is thumbnails. So para sa akin, uh, don't use yung thumbnail na auto-generated by YouTube. So kailangan mo talagang gumawa ng uh, sarili mong thumbnail. And yung tip ko sa thumbnail, uh, make an intriguing thumbnail but make sure talaga na tinetell na ito yung story ng video mo. So hindi ka na pwedeng basta-basta mag-clickbait na yung thumbnail mo hindi tungkol dun sa videos mo. And make sure na yung simula pa lang ng video mo. Dapat yun agad yung, yung uh, pinapoint out ng thumbnail mo. Additional tips when it comes to thumbnail. So it really helps na consistent yung style mo ng paggawa ng thumbnail. And pagka sa simula pa lang, wala ka pa naman talaga sa yung style and idea. Uh, get an inspiration doon sa favorite YouTuber mo kung ano yung pag pagka nasa same niche kayo or same genre ng types ng videos. For example, sa tech, sa fashion, sa beauty, ganun. Uh, so parang get an inspiration sa style nila ng paggawa ng thumbnail and i-apply mo yun sa thumbnail mo. So next tip ko dito is title. So yung una naman nakikita sa'yo ng viewer is yung thumbnail and title. So when it comes to title, para sa akin, I just use a broad and fundamental titles. For example, para sa akin, uh, nasa personal finance kasi yung channel ko. So usually, use yung stock market for beginners, uh, life insurance for beginners. So para broad and general yung tatamaan yung um, channel ko. So another thing na kailangan mo consider is YouTube is still a search engine. So uh, as much as possible, use mo yung uh, 100 characters ng title mo. And baka kasi tamaan dun yung uh, nilagay mong extra na mga words. Pero dapat make sure pa rin na related yung mga words na ginamit mo dun sa videos mo. And yung iba gumagamit ng mga tubebody, ganun, para malaman nila yung mga words na high ranking sa search engine operation. So yung SEO hacks. So yun, those are the things na nabibigay kong tips when it comes to making your titles. Find a niche that fits your personality and channel. So nowadays kasi, it's really hard if you're a lifestyle channel na sabog-sabog yung content mo, pa iba iba So kasi parang ngayon, people nowadays prefer yung may niche yung channel mo so that they have an expectation kung ano yung mga videos na lalabas from your channel. And it also helps yung YouTube algorithm na i-promote yung channel mo on the right audience kasi usually naman when people searches for the same uh, niche, the same topics, doon gusto ng YouTube iba to yung, ano, eh, yung videos mo kasi nga most likely, most probably, they will watch your videos. Next step is generally ask for a like, subscribe, and comment. So dito kasi hindi na lang pwedeng sabihin mo na like, subscribe, and comment. Ganun. Hindi lang, hindi na pwedeng ganun lang. So you have to give your audience more reason why they need to do it. For example, sa like, uh, why they need to hit the like button. Kasi it really helps yung uh, channel mo to uh, gain more um, traction sa YouTube algorithm. So that's the reason why they need to help you uh, promote yung channel mo by hitting the like button. Then yung comment naman, so why they, need, why, why they have to leave a comment kasi you want a feedback. Parang kailangan mo sabihin na, ah, oh, I want a feedback kasi uh, I wanted to give you uh, the content na gusto niya talaga. So if i-comment niyo yun, I will be able to make yung content na gusto niya talaga. Hindi yung nanghuhula na lang ako. So for the subscribe part naman, pwede mo sabihin na I'll do my best to make more content consistently and give you the best quality content na kaya mong ibigay. So yun, parang give them more reason why they need to subscribe to your channel. 
Next tip is engage with your audience. So dito you really have to build relationship with your audience kasi you want yung mga ride and die uh, mga audience mo. Hindi, kasi ang hirap na nagigain ka na audience pero hindi naman nila pinapanood yung videos mo. So you want to gain yung uh, ride and die audience mo, yung mga subscribers mo na ganun. So how you build it is by engaging with them sa through yung comments. So for me, sa comments, I really, really read and reply to uh, yung mga comments na binibigay sa akin, especially yung mga thoughtful ones, yung may mga emotion talaga na binigay. Or kaya naman, pwedeng basahin mo yung mga comments nila in your videos and dun mo sabihin or dun ka mag-reply nang gusto mong i-reply sa mga comments nila. So yung tags and description naman, just uh, write yung parang short summary nung, ano, nung video mo dun sa description box. And dun sa tags naman, just write yung mga keywords na pwedeng mag-define dun sa YouTube videos mo. Last tip when it comes to technical, so dito, just be consistent. For me, I'll just set a deadline yung paggawa mo ng videos or pag upload mo. So it's either once a week, twice a week, or once every two weeks, or once a month. Depende nga yun sa sinaset mo deadline sa serial mo. Pero just be consistent. So yun, it really helps to be consistent sa pag-build ng audience. So sabi nga nila, done is better than perfect. So before we move dun sa non-technicals, I would like to ask Anna for a smash the like button kung nandito ako pa sa point ng video na to and subscribe if you're into this kind of videos. So, let's move to the next part ng video na to. So, una muna, sorry for the background noise if may marinig kayong parang nagpupokpok sa likuran ko. So, yun. Uh, so, unang so, pag-usapan dito is how to have new video ideas. So, siguro isa to sa pinakaunang tinanong sa akin ng friend ko, paano hindi ka naubusan ng YouTube ideas? And I have multiple answers to this question. So, yung una muna sagot ko dito is document your life and don't create. Just document your life, just be raw and be authentic and just show your day-to-day -day life. Number two, create a new experience for yourself. So, dito, just be curious, try new stuff, try new things and go out of your comfort zone and make a video out of it. For me, example ko nito is I go to events. Usually naman yung mga pinupuntahan yung events, it has a certain Team. So for example, it's about leadership, entrepreneurship, and creativity. So usually, yan yung mga events sa pinupuntahan ko. And you just bring a camera with me and then document yung experience ko doon. And I turn that experience into one video engaging experience. Last tip ko dito is flex your creativity muscle. I think that most people are familiar that you can train creativity. That's the reason why creative people can create without inspiration. You have to do creative exercise and you have to do multiple reps of it religiously. One thing na nakatulong sa akin before is I used to make uh, IG video stories or parang IG story vlog. So parang I do it daily before in 2017. So what I do is, is just find something interesting in my daily life. So actually, hindi nga siya interesting. It's just my daily life. Yung mga boring things lang doon. And I try making that boring thing into one interesting videos. And yun, so ang laking tulong nung sa akin kasi uh, because of that, I could make something boring into an interesting video. So ayun, that's one thing na nakatulong sa akin para hindi ako wawagbusan ng YouTube video ideas. Next thing that I wanted to talk about is continuously improving your content. So for me, let's just break it down into three parts. So yung una is yung presentation, uh, production value, and storytelling. First, let's talk about presentation. For me, this is how you present yourself in front of the camera, how you carry yourself, and how you talk and interact with the camera. Sa lahat, ito yung pinakamahirap para sa akin kasi it's really weird to talk to a camera and it takes a lot of repetitions before you get comfortable speaking in front of a camera. It took me years before I look natural talking in front of a camera yung hindi na ako pilit. Up until now, I'm still improving myself in this category uh, through yung mga feedback sa comments nyo. Usually, yung napupuna sa is I talk too fast. And yung defense ko sa sarili ko nun is before kasi when I talk slow or yung normal pace ko, it's slow para sa YouTube face and parang wala akong energy. So, yun. I'm still calibrating yung tamang face or tamang speed ko ng pagsasalita para hindi ako mukhang pilit or hindi ako mukhang mabilis magsalita or yung mukha kong walang energy. So, I'm still figuring it out up until now. Next is storytelling. So, for me, just organize your thoughts in your video. So, parang, just make sure na nakoconnect mo yung story mo. So, for example, uh, usually kasi napapansin ko is uh, nahihirapan yung mga tao to connect one topic to another pagka nagsisweet sila ng topic. And parang, hindi na nabibigay yung context why they uh, jump from this topic to this topic. So, yun, just be sure lang na ibigay mo sa viewers mo yung point of view or yung context why you jump from this topic to this topic para hindi sila mawala sa story na sinasabi mo. Lastly, production value. Just make sure na you are properly lit so hindi ka against the light so nakatutok sa yung light so maliwanag ka sa camera and yung audio uh, just make sure lang na malapit sa yung uh, microphone so mag-pick up niya ng malinis yung audio mo and wala masyadong maingay na nakapaligid sa'yo and others, linisin mo lang yung background mo so those are simple tips to improve yung uh, content mo. I hope nakatulong sa inyo to. 
Moving on sa next topic is how not to burn out. I remember uh, there are some YouTube creators na nakaka-interact ako sa comment section ko before. So, back in 2018, uh, yun, uh, they actually grow their channel faster than mine. Pero when I check their channel now, hindi na sila active. So, I'm assuming they got burnt out. I'm not really sure. Pero kasi, common to in any creative field, especially pagka wala ka nakikita ng visible growth. I guess the best advice na mabibigay ko dito is keep creating videos that you love. But don't be afraid to experiment and pivot. My channel started as a video tutorial channel and a trading channel. Kaya lang it never got traction. That's the reason why I keep on experimenting on other YouTube videos na I'm also passionate about. It just happened na yung personal finance na niche it has a more mature market audience than yung other niche ko. That's the reason why I doubled down on it. But I make sure na I still make other videos other than personal finance. Kasi nakakasawa pa ulit-ulit yung pinag-uusapan mong videos. And okay lang sa akin if yung video na gagawin ko doesn't make as much views as yung mga personal finance na videos ko. Lastly, learn how to pause and take a break. I know sinabi ko kanina na learn how to be consistent, but if making videos makes you unhappy na, it's time to pause, reassess, and reflect. A week or two weeks of taking a break from making a video is always better than burning yourself out. Kesa naman yung hindi mo na alam kung kailan ka ulit makakapag-tell ng story kasi nawala na sa'yo yung fire or yung desire to tell another story. Why do you keep on making YouTube videos? So, siguro this is the most important recipe on why a YouTube channel will succeed. This is a thankless passion sa simula, especially if you're nobody and you're building your brand from the scratch. You have to give so much value to an audience before they show support sa yo. And simula sa first few years, there's no money involved in it. So, talagang dapat sobrang deep ng why mo dito. For me, this is fun. This is my way of expressing myself. This is my way of sharing my passions and advocacy. And most importantly, para sa akin, this is my way of connecting connecting to other people that I wouldn't even meet in my lifetime. For me, the best part of YouTube is being able to connect and reach to other people. I really appreciate when people gives me a thoughtful comment sa comment section, yung talagang pinag-isipan, yung talagang may emosyon. I think yung talaga yung true measure of a video success if you're able to pass your message and nakakonect siya to other people doon sa mga audience mo. It always gives me a goosebump whenever I read uh, or receive a comment na talagang pinag-isipan or yung thoughtful or yung may emosyon. It's like uh, pagka-performing artist ka and uh, you made a great performance and yung crowd goes wild tapos uh, nag-standing ovation. Tapos uh, it's the same siguro sa mga athlete pagka naka-score ka ng malupet or naka-goal ka ng malupet. So alam mo, it makes you feel alive and yun yung ini-aim ko into every YouTube video na ina-upload ko. I hope if you're a YouTube video creator watching this video, you could hold on to your why until the end of your YouTube creator journey. That's it for this video. Hope you get pumped into creating more videos. If you want me to make a deep dive about a certain topic na mentioned ko in this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. Keep creating and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Bye!